I'm Paula Eddy, and this is Kirk Jones, and we're with Signs of Times, your greetings and events. Our company is an exclusive company that offers your sign greeting rentals for the Jefferson County area. We customize greetings for any occasions, from birthdays, anniversaries, corporate events, any municipality can rent from us. Uh, we also do welcome homes, baby celebrations, anything that you could think of. We can fabricate and print in-house and give you what you need. Also, we have signs for purchase, so you don't, everything is not a rental. We offer customization where we can do your printing for you and you own, you can purchase the sign. Please contact us. We appreciate your business. Contact us at 409-937-5026 or you can reach us on Facebook at Signs of Times, Yard Greetings and, and Events, and you can reach us via the web at BowmanEventServices.com. Again, that's BowmanEventServices.com. Thank you. Carolyn Thibodeau, your community public library for Port Arthur Public, as well as coordinator for African American Culture Society. We're so super excited to be here at the Sub County Courthouse, thanks to our Shane Senegal celebrating the eighth annual Juneteenth flag raising celebration. Not only are we celebrating this annual event that's been happening for some time now, we get to say it's a national holiday. Yes, that's correct. Something that we've been striving for for at least 11 to 12 years with no other than our late Dr. Ronald Myers. And with me today, I have president of the African American Culture Society, Gail Pella. Woo Jambo. Jambo is the key Swahili word for hello. And like she said, I'm Gail Pelham, president of the African American Cultural Society, way down here in Port Arthur, Texas. And it's with great pride and dignity that we stand here to say, happy Juneteenth. After many, many years and a long fight, we have finally begotten our national, national holiday. So this is our time to shine, to tell the story, and let's make history today. And let's be the difference. Let's take this where we can build a sustainable community and country. If you all don't mind, enjoy the fellowship. But let's go ahead and let's give a big round of applause to our Mayor Ortiz, Mr. Mayor Bernard Ortiz. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. I was trying to get it where we could be about a half of Juneteenth in, in, in the back of us. But, but yeah, that's, that's a real good scene for the camera people. All right. Uh, but first, I'd like to say good morning. Good morning. And from the city of Port Arthur, office of the mayor. Whereas on September 22nd, uh, 1862, okay, 1862, on September 22nd, President Abraham Lincoln, uh -huh. okay, issued the Emancipation Proclamation, declaring that as of January 1st, 1863, all slaves in the rebellion states would be thenceforth forever free. Mm -hmm. Whereas it took almost three years of conflict, three years of loss, three years to bring about the end of the Civil War. In 1865, the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution was nationally ratified and actually ended the sanctioned institution that we know today as slavery. And whereas the news of freedom disseminated gradually throughout the nation, and on June 19, 1865, 
Union soldiers led by General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas and issued General Order Number 3 announcing freedom to some of the last slaves in America. And I might add that those soldiers who were on the ship with General Gordon happened to have been African-American soldiers. Whereas on this anniversary year, African-American culture society leaders and individuals throughout the city and our nation celebrate, and I might add, this newly declared national holiday. Right. Yes, sir. That's now part of our heritage. It's part of our history. It's part of our freedom. And most certainly part of our culture with events and ceremonies that actually reflect the power of community, the power of family, the power of art, and also the power of tradition in the face of oppression. So on today, June 18th, we raise the Juneteenth flag, which is a symbol that gives all Americans the opportunity to recognize American freedom and African American history. Now, therefore, I, Thurman Bill Borti, Mayor of the City of Port Arthur, Texas, do hereby proclaim June 19, 2021 as Juneteenth Celebration Day in the city of Port Arthur, in the state of Texas, and in the country of the United States of America. And we're doing it first here in the city of Port Arthur. And we encourage all people to observe Juneteenth as an opportunity to reflect, an opportunity to rejoice, and also an opportunity to plan for a brighter future as we continue to address racial injustices, police brutality, and all forms of racism in our society today. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Port Arthur, Texas to be affixed this 18th day of June in celebration of the 19th of June in the year of our Lord 2021 and it's signed Mayor Thurman Bill Borty and to our cultural society. I present this to you and to the citizens of Port Arthur, the citizens of Jefferson County, the citizens of the state of Texas, and all Americans as we celebrate here Juneteenth here in the city of Port Arthur. God bless you. It's my prayer for you. Amen. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Mayor. And I think we'll just go ahead. Um, again, I'm Carolyn Thibodeau. I want to go ahead and do the occasion for today. It's a lot of emotion for me today because this is not a first. It's not a first raising this flag. It's been a lot of striving and a lot of work to see this as a national holiday. Helping other people. Just like y'all doing today. Don't let nobody tell you no never mind. Underground railroad was something, something that was uh, just, just for colored folks. Yeah, that ain't true. It's all kinds of people working on the underground railroad. White folks especially. Had been for them white folks, they call abolitionists. Well, he probably wouldn't have been no underground railroad. You see, we couldn't do it by ourselves. We ain't had no houses to hide 
Israel Je vois une fois le goût de l'eau Abolitionists Doctors, lawyers All kind of folks was helping out I tell you It wasn't no choo-choo train Yo, 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 who's got to teach these children the truth? I remember when I was just a little girl. <laughs> I remember, well, we was slaves. We, we wasn't slaves. Uh, we was enslaved, they say. Couldn't do nothing about it. So one day, as a child, mouse had me out there yonder picking apples from the apple trees and I saw one apple. It was the prettiest apple I ever done seen in my whole life. And I, I couldn't help it. I was so hungry. I reached for that apple, put it to my mouth. And I took the biggest bite I could out of it. <laughs> yeah, done. And then I looked over. The overseer, over on there, on the horse, he seen me. He seen me take a bite. And that was a no-no. Master told him to give me 50 lashes. And I, I, I swore that day I was going to, one day, have me my own apple orchard. And I'm here to tell you the day I get it. Yeah, I done. After Underground Railroad and Civil War and all of that be done with and Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, Say we supposed to be free. That's when I get me a house. Yeah, I had me a house. Big old house. I let all, all the old folks come and stay there until they died. And I had me my apple orchard. I sure done. I, I wasn't no slave all my life. I get free. And I stayed free. And I come back down to this here United States after I get all the ways to Canada. I turn myself around, come back and get my people. They called me Moses, just like Moses in the Bible. He, he did his people free, didn't he? Oh, damn. Mercy, way down in Egypt lane, I'm gonna tell you, Pharaoh, you, you gotta let my people, let them go. Hear me singing that song coming down the road. They knew if they wanted to go free, all they had to do was meet me on the edge of the plantation, and I take them to freedom. And the day y'all y'all out here celebrating freedom down here in Tejas used to be made cold. Teach the children. And, and teach them this too. I hear all y'all talking about, oh, what a great day, because the white man passed the law, say we can celebrate it, he can too, because he's on federal. Oh, they so glad to celebrate us getting free today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it for your ancestors. Say it for those that died trying to get free. Never made it. You here bone free. 
One of our uh, trusted servants here that give us a pull or two till we get it to the top. A couple of times. Just for you. This way. national holiday 
So the battle is won, but the war is not over. Hopefully today you'll take what you uh, seen and heard today and pass those on. There's a saying that those of us who are elders need to remember the struggle that went on before us. And we have a responsibility to make sure that our kids know the history. Say that again. I believe you will have a poem that was read by our very own Ms. Diggles, who is a student at Memorial High School and Woodrow Wilson Early College High School. Let's give her a round of applause. Up this morning, Father God. Thank you for bringing us through last year, bringing us all the way to this year, Father God. God, we just want to say thank you that you were made great, loving, and kind, even in the midst of all that is going on. Father, we just thank you for your forgiveness, and we thank you for your love, and we thank you for your mercy. But right now, Father God, we are all here today standing around this pole to call on you because we need you now more than ever, Father God, and we have never needed you before. Father, we need you to come on down to your great green earth. And Father, we need you to touch, Father God. We need you to touch those lives right now who are sick, touch those who are in the hospital, in the nursing homes, those who are going through whatever they are, Father God, we ask you to just touch and heal them right now. Father, we ask that you just come down and you spread your love all around this whole entire world, Father God. We ask that you just remove all the hatred that is gonna come before us, Father God. We ask that you also go before us, Father God, as we continue to move forward in the right direction to make your earth all that you want it to be while we are here. Father, we also ask for a special blessing that you just touch the city of Port Arthur right now, Father God. Touch our community leaders, our civic leaders, and our elected officials, Father God. Touch us so that we may make the right decisions to move this city in the positive and the right direction, Father God. So that when years to come, we can still say that we were great and you were great, Father God. Father, we also ask that you just come in and continue to bless and anoint each and every family and household that is represented here on today. Father, we ask that you just touch those who are represented on Facebook Live and those who are watching via virtually, Father God. Father, we ask you just heal this world, Father God. Get us back to normal, some type of normalcy, Father God, so that we may continue to give your name all the glory, the honor, and the praise that it so gratefully deserves. And in the benediction, Moses told Aaron to tell to the people, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. And may he lift his countenance towards you and give you shalom, which is his peace, his holiness, and his happiness now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, the community prays. Amen. Amen. And get home safely. All righty. So we're going to end this baby.